It's been a while everyone. I've seen a lot of comments requesting a video about creating a form using React hooks. I actually have videos explaining each hook with a form example, but I think many people would like to know more uh, practical topics like handling use state with different data structures. So I've split it into two topics for now, handling state with object and an array. This video is about using a state hook with objects. We have first example here. Location state is an object which contains city and state data. And we want to update both of the values. And example two, it's a state of an object again, but has a nested object, which is a company. We will update the name of this profile and also company info. And updating one of these values must not affect the other values for sure. So let's take a look at the first one first. Uh, before we write some code, I'm sharing the GitHub link in this description below from this video. So you can check out the code if anyone wants. And if you run the project you can see this list of our topics we have gone through in this channel together. So this is what we're going to build today. We have two forms and this colored box shows the real time state. So let's make a form to update the first state. So right now I am creating a location state. Use state and it has a city and state info they will be both string so we'll set the default value as an empty string i'll display this location to see how it's being updated so writing down typography this is the component from material ui by the way and Converting this object, which is the location, to JSON using json.strangify. And now I have to create two text fields. This one is for the city, so I have to add the label, value, name, and on change. Value is location.city Name, let me set same as the city in the state And creating one more text field for the state It has to be location.state Name is state And right now creating an onChange function this event will occur when the value has been changed and we've set the name of the field in the state so we can grab the name from the event and set the value so this type is a uh, change event and html input element and to update the state object we can use object.assign or spread syntax I find it simpler to use spread syntax here, so I'm using it in our video, in this video. And add on change. We are running this app locally, so we can see the city and state data are being updated correctly from the browser. Trying out the city text field tests, state tests. It all looks good. So this was how we update the object state. And let's take a look at how to update the nested object. So this time the state is an object, same as the previous one, and has another object inside to hold the company information. So I will call the state profile and employee ID 
an East Manager Boolean inside of company. So it's basically a nested object. Profile and set state. I will call it set profile. I need another colored box to display profile object in real time. So copying and pasting this typography, convert it to JSON. And instead of location, this will be profile. And creating the text fields, the name text field, it's going to be profile.name. And have to change the name as well. I'll call it name, same as the one in the state. And on change will complete it later. And another text field for employee ID. Value is instead of profile dot company. A name should be employee ID. And the last field is going to be a radio group to handle Boolean. I wanted to handle different types of fields. So I added this radio field. And as I said, it's I'm using the material UI library, so these components are from the this UI library. Is manager for the label and radio group one is for true, the other one is for the false. So value is profile dot company dot is manager. Name also has to be matched is manager. And form control label for the two different radio labels. Creating this one as false. Label, let me call it F. And need another one for true. So let me copy and paste this. This one true label should be T. And right now, time to make on change functions for new fields. For the name, it's the same as the on change we created previously. So on change name type is the same. HTML input element. It will be set profile. We're updating the object. Spread syntax. E target dot name. E target dot value. And employee ID is inside of company objects, right? So. Let me uh, instead of on change company, let me name it on change employee ID. So to edit this, creating a function event typing and so I'm copying all key value pairs of the current object 
set profile and updating the value of a specific key which is employee ID so copied the current object and updating the specific key updating the value of the specific key perfect and the last on change for our boolean field on change is manager same parameter and set profile copying the key value pairs of the current object again and the company object as well profile.company and updating the value of is manager perfect and right now let's test out the fields and check out the wizard true false name name field and employee id field all looks good so we've handled object state and nested object state with object spread syntax today and next video i'll be we will be handling array state